So all this shit's going on. And as 2000 is then turning into Yeah, that's fucked up because because knowing Jimmy I had met Jimmy Yeah, this is a, I got to think this out. Because I know like yeah, because I know I did not have a car when I had the fucking police-issued Suffolk County Glock 9. Which was written up as a pair of nunchucks. Because at that point, I was pretty much like fucking like James Bond status is what I thought in my fucking head. Not to mention my fucking, my un... Yeah, <laughs> you motherfuckers. Yo. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. That's why this is fucking... And that's why, that's why, that's why fucking... Yeah. Because that's what I mean. It's like, it's like... With all the fucking bullshit from different angles going on... Even the ones who fucking were aware were not fucking understanding what the fuck was going on. So I meet so-and-so right around that time, too. So the, that leads into 2000-ish. No. Yeah, that leads into 2000. But I don't have a fucking car. But I am getting the gun at that point as 2000... Going into 2001. Which then, six months later, I'm going to fucking jail. I am on probation, which is bullshit too. Like, that's the whole fucking thing about that. Like I said, I should have been allowed to fucking... First off, any fucking lawyer that was in the fucking... Like, if they were actually trying to be lawyers at that point in time... I should have been fucking, they should have been fucking suing Exxon for Exxon for me. Yo, yo, fuck this. Yo, fuck this. Yo, fuck this. Yo, fuck this. Yo, man. <laughs> wow. Fucking wow. I go to jail, I come out of jail, the Ford Taurus is broke, that's why it came off the road, it came off the road even before it's insurance, because the fucking transmission went. The fucking clutch plate or something, fucking something inside the transmission went. So that was off the road already. But then I bought another car that resembled my car. Which was fucking weird. Because it was it resembled my first car. My Camaro with the fucking white racing stripes. It resembled it a, like a whole lot. But it had a different color. Purple. It was more purplish. And the stripes were black. But it looked like somebody was trying to imitate my car. And when I seen the car, I was like, eh, maybe I could use the parts from this car to fix up my other car. 
even if it was a six cylinder, there had to be interchanging parts that I might have needed for my other car. And in the meantime, I could probably drive this car. But I never put that car on the road. But what I did do... No, I put the fucking license because that's fucking... Because that's when that fucking happened. The one time I took that car out, like really out, like fucking I threw on different plates of the car that was on the fucking road. So then I got that car right before I went to fucking jail. So both cars were there when I went to jail. So then that shit happened where my where in another state my cousin was actually raped at a place I had just literally been to. One fucking yo. Wow, you mother yo, dude. Yo man. Wow man. Wow, man. Wow, man. As far as the fucking thing that they showed me, that's when I did not have a car. That was after the fucking... The X-Men school, I'm pretty sure, was shut down. Because they were calling it my wife. They were saying Annabella, Lucy. And I kept hearing, I heard the voice and I was like, "That? what is that? Oh, the, the sounds bounce around here. That's somebody's TV. I'm like, it just said my name. So then that fucking, they wanted me to hear that because I'm guessing that that girl was the girl that was inside the fucking X-Men school that after she helped shut down the fucking place, they put her up in the fucking attic and killed her. So that a year after I came home from jail which a year and a half when I seen it and then I went and told who I fucked because they tried to lock me up there with it and the fucking whole spider coming out of the eye socket thing and you know yeah that was fucking interesting and uh yeah it's when I actually started to fucking literally like they were like you can't get out of this you can't get out of this and I fucking, I literally started lifting the whole entire, with my back, I fucking, I, I fucking braced my legs, and I went to the fucking corner, and I just started, boom, boom. Because the nails and shit weren't in the one little fucking, and I started fucking lifting the entire fucking corner of the fucking roof over here. The whole corner of the roof, I was lifting the roof off the fucking house. And they were like, okay, okay, okay. We're only playing. We're only playing. We're joking. We'll let you out. Because I, I was literally, at that point, I was literally lifting the entire fucking roof. I was disconnecting the roof, nigga, son. Make a song about that, nigga, bitch.